Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here once again. It is Team Ari. Anyone out there got a chance to watch the very first video of the day? If so, thank you for the support. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on uh, Twitch. And follow me on my own Facebook page. And of course, follow me on Twitter. Thank you very much. Those links are will be down below now this time once again to discuss wrestling news wrestling topics and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you now if you like sit back relax put your feet up grab some meat grab some drink now if you don't do like that maybe you want to like a villain and hear my thoughts my opinions and the subject and of course the article will be down below the link will be down below this one will be a, an article let's roll this okay Everyone wants to see CM Punk back. Maybe, maybe not. I do, okay? It would be great for business, especially what's going on in the world today. But on the other hand, probably it will not happen for a while because why have CM Punk back with no crowds? I mean, they have crowds, but it's very, very limited right now. So why, why bring them into the mix? Okay, Booker T discussed CM Punk possibly returning to ring during a recent edition of the Hall of Fame podcast. Here is what he had to, to say. You guys can read the rest of it. I really think he will come back eventually. I thought he was going to come back this past mania, but due to what's going on around the world, things has changed. I thought we are going to see Seth Rollins for the CM Punk at mania, but once again... Things had changed. Sorry, I spit it. I prefer having Seth Rollins versus CM Punk that match than Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens. I mean, it was a good match, but I think um, CM Punk versus Seth Rollins will blow off the roof. Well, there's no roof in Tampa Bay because it's a open football stadium, but we will never know. So maybe, maybe next year. In Vegas, if if it's still on schedule, if not, back to the performance center once again. So I know a lot of you don't want to see CM Punk because he has a bad attitude. He sucks. Whatever, you know. I don't give a crap if he's, you know, it's better than nothing, you know. You know. Do you think CM Punk will ever pass things up? With Triple H, Vince, or Stephanie, what he said back in the day, maybe, maybe not. Is CM Punk a future Hall of Famer? Yes, but will W put him in the Hall of Fame? Time will tell. There is so much drama backstage when he used to work for W. It is crazy, you know? It's still pissing me off. I know I mentioned this like a broken record. He should never lost to The Rock. At um, the Royal Rumble that year. That really pissed me off. They should let. Hold on to the belt until. That mania. Then drop it. To someone. But we will never know. Probably to Cena. Or on the other hand. They could have a triple threat match. At Rumble. Put John Cena into the mix. Instead of have one one match. CM, for, CM Punk versus The Rock. I mean it was a good match. But the outcome. The closing ending was very stupid. Big McMahon had to restart the match. And The Rock won. If they never restart the match. Simpong will still be your champion at that time frame. But he had a great run. A very good run. It sucks that he never headlined a freaking WrestleMania. What the hell was wrong with you McMahon? What the hell? He busts his ass off. To get in this position... Daniel Bryan headline at WrestleMania, why well, can't CM Punk? I don't understand that. So everyone out there, let me know what you think about this article. My social media accounts will be down below. Everyone out there, enjoy your rest of your Saturday, and I'll be back tomorrow. Later.